welcome to Morning Inspiration in School in a Pandemic. I am just Joycelyn and I thank you so much for joining me on my channel and pretty much this is just like a chronicle of what it's like for me going back to school in person <laughs> and hybrid and the inspiration that God gives me to help me to push through and I love to share this inspiration with you so that we might kind of like you know encourage each other in this thing called life and if you have any comments for me go ahead and <laughs> comment below i would love to hear whatever messages that god is sending to you and if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see every time that i post all right so first of all what i want to say is yes uh one of my subscribers tawana jones i love this color and what it actually is i'm gonna show you right here this right here is what it looks like and it's a maybelline product and it's called what is it superstay matte ink and i love these because um you know with the mask sometimes it's when you put like your makeup on and somebody was telling me it's so crazy why are you putting makeup on under your mask and i'm like i don't know i just i just like to do it. and i don't always have on my mask you know but for the times that i have it on i cover and so the thing that i like about this makeup is that it's super stay so it doesn't it stays on a lot better than some of the other products and uh they have a array of oh like array of array of, array of, of different colors so Yes, Maybelline Matte Ink. Um, if you are an educator, a teacher, or whoever you are uh, in your job or working, um, this uh, makeup is really, really good because I like the way that it stays on your your lips. And this is not a plug. I'm not getting any like kickback from this. It's just what I use. It's a couple of different products that I use, and uh, but this one I found kind of stays on the most. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So Tawanda, that's what I use, and I love this color too. I think this this color is actually called cheater Ooh. it's called cheater 35 but i love this color so oh, i'm not a cheater but whatever <laughs> all right so again thank you tawanda for commenting and if you have any questions or comments that you want to put please put them below because i love love conversating with people but again so let's go to the word of god okay y'all so um again i'm so very thankful for god just for everything that he is doing uh in my life and with me and um i'm on this whole push about really trusting god and we as believers to trust him for the um, impossible for things that he can do and i was reading in luke 19 and there was a gentleman who was a beggar and he was laying down and he heard that jesus was coming through and when he heard that jesus was coming through he just started crying out for him and people were telling him Shh, be quiet you know stop doing all of that but he persisted and he kept calling out for jesus he kept calling out calling out and so jesus said wait and he commanded his disciples bring him to me and so when he brought uh when they brought the man to him you know he said what do you need and that oh that touched my heart so bad because jesus always speaks to the needs of people uh, and he and he talks to them about what is it that you need sometimes we feel like i want to help that person and we think we know but if you want to help somebody just ask you know pray about it you know because sometimes people can be you know have a little pride and they don't want you know they might not want to say but just be praying about it and be watching but anyway so in this situation um jesus asked him what do you need and he was basically telling him that he lost his sight and he needed he wanted to see he was blind and so jesus basically spoke to him and told him your faith has made you healed and then the guy regained his sight immediately praised god and followed him and I thought that was just so amazing that that guy pushed through. And I'm paraphrasing the scripture, but the thing that really got me is that, y'all, you're going to have people who are going to try to stop you from doing the things that God has called you to do. You're going to have people who are going to speak seeds of discord. Uh, and I'm not talking about... Um, I'm not talking about those critiques that we need. We need critiques, y'all. Come on. We need somebody in our life that is honest and that's going to say to us, okay, look, you don't need to do this this way. Why don't you try this? Or have you tried this method? Everybody in your life is not a hater. Please receive this. Everybody is not a hater. Sometimes people are trying to give you constructive criticism to help you. And so... Uh, but in this particular case, they were trying to stop him. What he was doing was not proper. Stop yelling out. Stop calling out. But he continued to persist. He continued to seek out Jesus because he knew that's who, who could help him. And the more he uh, uh, called out and yelled out, and Jesus, it, Jesus took notice. And so what I got from that is 
in my prayers, uh, in my life, continue to persist, continue to call out to God, continue to go after those things that he um, has called you to do. And just know that if he has spoken to you, if he has given you the gifts for it, if he's opened the door for it, y'all go ahead and go, go for it, go for it. Keep seeking him and just know that he will be standing with you. Sometimes, y'all, he opens doors. Sometimes he closes them uh, for our protection. But if God is giving you an open door, walk through that door. Persist. And don't worry about people saying, oh, you're too young. Oh, you don't got no money. Oh, you don't have this. Oh, you don't. Don't worry about that. If God has opened that door and he's telling you to walk and move, y'all walk and move and let him guide your path. Amen. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you so much for how you keep us, Lord God. We thank you for open doors and we thank you for closed doors. God, we thank you, Lord God, that when we cry out, you are the living God and you hear us, Lord God, and you answer us, God. And we just say thank you on today. God, I pray for my brothers and sisters who do not know you. I pray that they realize and understand that the only thing that they need to do is believe that you died on the cross for their sins and rose again. And if you just believe that, you are saved. And I welcome you to the body of Christ. And if you are somebody right now, you just not feeling Jesus. You just don't know. You know, you just you just don't know right now. You're on a path and you're not sure. Please know he is standing right there with open arms to receive you when you're ready. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So you guys have a wonderful, amazing day. Again, y'all, please put the comments below. I love to converse and talk with people um, and to encourage you. And I pray that you are praying for me as I am praying for you. And again, if this channel has added any value to your life, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see every time that I post. And if you are a YouTuber and you have some excellent like educational lessons or self-care or whatever stuff you got going on hey 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 please let me know because i would love to check out your channel and uh kind of like collaborate all right so you guys have an awesome and wonderful day and i will talk to you later